Welcome back. It is me and Adam again on the next episode of Hidden Homes. His isn't very hidden in this one, but whatever. Okay, so there's actually a big old house in this covered forest that you can't really see. And unless you know a lot about covered forest, which I'm still new, kind of just walk around and you can't see it. You're like, oh, there's a wall of stuff, but unless if you're not going to break it, and if it's really deep in the foot woods, no one you might not notice, but this is a very small covered forest, as you saw. Like, that's the end of it. So, this one actually takes up just about the entire place. We got a door here. Got a nice little area. You got your beds. You got a little river and some wood to walk on and stuff. You got a chest back here. Nice little garden home. Place to do gardens and stuff. And that's that hidden home. Yep, and you can see there's the village from here. And there is the entrance to mine, which is right there. And here's the other hidden homes in this mountain over here. Now let's go find Adam's hotel. Garden. Garden thing. It's by the beacon. Okay, so it's over here by the beacon, so this is actually the beacon that leads to the, um, leads to this. Stronghold. Yay! End world. I like the end. There we go. Let's see, where is it? It's over on his screen. Where are you? Dude, the beacon is right close. There. there we go. There, there it is. is. I can see the beacon. The door see him here. Floating over here. It's got a door down at the base. Oh. It's built out of mushroom. So this was actually built out of a challenge to incorporate some biome. And so mine was the hidden one, and this is his. It's got a rainbow roof and all this stuff. It's still kind of cool because it's got all the water and pretty flowers. So that's the end of this episode of Hidden Homes. Um, please leave a, like, leave a like and a comment if you actually enjoyed this video and made it this far. Um, and we'll see you next time.